Um, this video uh, is to just demonstrate a couple of features to help you using uh, a VPN at work. Okay, so a lot of us use uh, a VPN at home or when we're traveling to keep our secured uh, connection secure or to watch region locked stuff. Um, I use it for things like BBC and Hulu and Netflix. Um, but sometimes a lot of people need to use these VPNs when they're uh, at work or um, they're um, in school, college or something like that. Um, and this brings a whole new difference in um, potential problems you've got. Now I'm just going to show you a couple of settings in um, Identity Cloaker which will be useful for those working in those sort of environments. What you'll find is normally that some of these things uh, VPN and proxy servers get blocked when you're online. Okay, well, I'm just going to show you this is Identity Cloaker if you've never seen it before. Those are all the servers you can connect to. It can sit in the taskbar there. Um, in very restrictive environments, you can actually run this off, just copy the exe onto a um, USB stick and run it from that if you don't want to install the software on a company client or something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here and go to the settings. And the first thing I want to show you is the local proxy. Now, many, many corporate environments allow external internet access through a proxy server such as ISA or Apache. They won't allow you to go through access the internet unless you go through that proxy server. Now, the problem is often that needs authentication. And if you try and go directly out to a proxy or VPN without that, you'll just get blocked because it'll be blocked by the proxy or the firewall won't allow you through because the connection is not coming through the proxy server. Uh, Identity Cloak has got this little feature here, which allows you to basically piggyback the normal proxy server so that you can use the VPN through the authorized proxy. It's called internal proxy here. It, this is kind of an advanced feature, so... Um, <coughs> You need a little bit of networking knowledge to get it working. Here you put in the internal proxy, you put the port that it goes through, and then there's three settings for authentication. You can just have none if it's passed through. Um, password, if you know that there's a, um, a username and password that's needed to get through, or there's NTLM, which is um, Windows NT LAN Manager. So normally that, you won't be able to put the proxy in the username and password, but it'll authenticate based on your client that you're on. So if you're part of an Active Directory domain or something like that, you should get authenticated straight through. Um, try in Windows environment, try NTLM first, and you need to put the proxy address in there. That basically tells Identity Cloaker to go through the authorized proxy and then out. Your connection is still secure, it's still encrypted. You, you're still hiding your location from people on the internal network and the website you visit, but it will all tunnel through the authorized proxy. As I say, in lots of environments, unless you do this, it simply won't work because a firewall will block direct connections out. You, you have to use the internal proxy. The other one I want to just show you quickly is cloaked applications. Here you can start Identity Cloak running and tell specific applications only to use Identity Cloaker. Now this is useful um, if you've got a, a client that's locked down, maybe it's got Internet Explorer that's locked down, and you've also got Opera or Firefox on it as well, you can tell Identity Cloaker just to use a specific browser. So you, if you want to use the VPN, you just use that browser. It's really useful. Um, okay, and there's, there's a host of different settings in here that you can use to um, change the port uh, if you want to sort of cloak further or if there's any restrictions in the firewall. I won't go over those too much now, but I just want to nip back to local proxy. You might ask, I don't know my proxy server address. Okay, now that'll probably be configured on your client or in your browser. Um, you can get one useful um, piece of information. Let me just close that there. Okay, and here we go. You can use the, if you can use the command prompt, use a command called tracert. So that's tracert there and go to google.com. What this will do is, let me just stop that there. The first hop in um, that is the next gateway. You can leave that 
two or three in a network in uh, a big corporate environment there might be a few stops there but you should be able to get the ip address of the um, proxy or default gateway see that there is my um, router 192.168.1.254 it's on an internal network so it hasn't got a, uh, got a private ip address so there you can find that's my dsl router okay otherwise you can also find this information if you allowed access in the proxy configuration of um, set whatever browser is set up on your client so for example on internet explorer we'll put internet options go to connections go to lan settings and below there you'll find proxy server it may be these are all configured and grayed out lots of times they're grayed out because you're not allowed to modify the settings in the proxy so it, they get downloaded by things like group policy in the um, windows environment so you just can look in there and you should see the proxy server and the port it's using if you can get in there that's probably the easiest way of finding because you'll get the port number and the ip address there of the proxy so take that go back to identicloaker and show you the settings tab and put the proxy server information in there and you should be good to go because you will you will then tunnel like any other client now it this isn't always involved you don't always need to do this but many many corporate environments are locked down so that you can't use vpns like this unless it's their own vpn or ras server okay well thank you very much for watching i hope that made some sense if you've got any questions pop them in the comments and i'll have a go at answering them thanks a lot